Have you ever told someone that they were too sensitive or that it's all in their head? These phrases are examples of psychological invalidation. When you invalidate someone's feelings, you're telling them that what they think and feel is inaccurate, unreal, and sometimes even wrong. This can leave them feeling confused and full of self-doubt. So to avoid invalidating other people's thoughts and emotions, here are nine things you should never say to anyone. Let's begin. Number one, you're too emotional. When you tell someone that they're too emotional or overly sensitive, you're implying that they're exaggerating how they feel, but feelings are not measurable by any means. When emotions hit you, nothing is too little or too much. Number two, stop making things up. By saying this to someone, you're questioning their honesty and perception of reality. It invalidates their feelings and leaves them hurt and confused about their own thoughts and feelings. Number three, you shouldn't feel that way. It's often best to avoid using words like should or shouldn't when talking about someone's feelings. After all, it implies that their feelings are somehow wrong, which is never right. Number four, I don't think that's an issue. Sometimes it's best to keep things to yourself when you know what you're about to say won't make the other person feel any better. After all, whether you think their problem matters or not, it's up to you. It's not even about you. Instead of saying things like this, you can offer to listen to what they have to say and see things from their point of view. Number five, just stay positive. Toxic positivity is a common form of psychological invalidation that is often used to try to cheer people up. However, while your intention may be good, the statement often just makes people feel more misunderstood. Number six, just ignore it. Let's face it, advising a person to ignore something that bothers them is not really the best advice. Instead, perhaps you could say, I can see how this is bothering you, and I'm here for you until this passes. In this way, you're offering your support to them without dismissing their issues. Number seven, I'm sorry you feel that way. Sometimes statements like these can do more harm than good because it suggests that they are only hurt because they misheard or misunderstood the problem. It implies that the issue is with their judgment and not because of what happened. Number eight, everything happens for a reason. While you may say this with good intentions, you may only succeed in upsetting them even more. It's surely difficult for anyone to understand or accept that things happen for a reason when they're currently struggling or feeling upset with a problem. This is especially true if tragedy has occurred. And number nine, don't be such a wuss or crybaby. It's inappropriate to say things like this to someone since it labels them, invalidates their feelings, and forces them to suppress their emotions. In reality, sometimes your emotions are just uncontrollable. Then in times like that, even you would feel better if you were just treated with kindness and sympathy rather than ridicule and judgment. In the end, it's always better to think of how your words affect other people and to speak with empathy and compassion, especially when they need it the most. Are there any other invalidating statements that you've heard? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.